All right, so we're at work today. We're at the hotel complex. A couple days ago, I got all the uh, all the new vertical package units. I got uh, installed one yesterday, so I have eight left to install. Um, it's definitely uh, be a little bit of a pain. They're super heavy. Um, I'm gonna yank one of the old ones out of room 164 right now. Um, and we're going to install this whole unit. I'm just gonna make a little video. Um, figured why not, you know, just showing me install the unit. Um, these are the old ones. This is the one I pulled out of the room yesterday. These things are just donezo. Compressors are all junk. These things are 15 years old. They weren't maintained properly, so. Yeah. So we'll go uh, rip this unit out of 164 right now, and then we'll unbox this one, the new one. All right, so we're in the room now. So we're in the hotel room. Took off the door to the HVAC closet here. So we've got the old unit here. It's just completely dead. Compressor shot, won't turn on. I checked the relays, tried the capacitor. So it's just more cost effective to replace these things than to send them off and get new compressor. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, cut the power over at the breaker over here. Take this off, and we are going to cut the power right here. Power's off, and I just have to undo these thermostat wires right here. I'll take up the disconnect, and I'll have to undo the two power wires in the ground. Um, once those are unhooked, I can undo these screws right here, cut out the drain, boom, and then haul this unit out of here. I got a little cart here, so um, probably just gonna do a little time lapse of uh, taking this unit out, getting this out of the room. We got the new unit right here. These things came straight from Texas, so I'm gonna unbox this. Now these things are pretty freaking heavy. That's um, why I got this cart here. I'm gonna throw it on so you can see it and help me wheel this thing in the room. Boom. There we go. Got the unit right here. Clean this up. I have to do is uh, I gotta take it off of this pallet here. So I'm gonna take the drill and uh, take this off the pallet, and we'll put it on this cart right here, and we'll uh, we'll wheel it into the room. All right, so we're making some progress here. So I got the new unit; it's in the room now. There's the closet right there. It's pretty much ready for it to go in. The old unit's out. What I ended up doing, what I always do, is um, I cut up some wood blocks. Uh, the reason being, these units have to sit up a good four or five inches right there to fit into the lip. Um, so I usually put those cinder blocks, or I mean those wood blocks right in the back there so it sits up and can slide right into the sleeve. Um, if the unit isn't completely snug and upright, um, they tend to leak if they're at an angle. So um, just, uh, yeah, that's the, just gotta make sure it's sitting upright and uh, so we have no leaks and yeah. Probably just gonna do another time lapse here, getting this unit in the closet. This is very challenging, especially when you're by yourself, because you can just see the size of these things. 
and they probably weigh about three, 400 pounds. They're very heavy, um, but I've done it many times. So yeah. All right, and there it is. Um, you can see me struggling to get that in there, but I got it. Um, it's tough when you're, you know, installing these things solo, but um, I got it in there so you can see the uh, couple of two by fours. I got it sitting on, and then I just put a little cardboard shim in there. Um, you know, does it look super pretty? No, but all it is is just supporting this unit, and those two by fours are perfectly strong enough so yeah this thing's nice and flush now perfectly even standing up straight so the water won't leak so the only thing i have left to do is i have to put the drip pan right here connect it up to the drain line um and i'll explain more about that in a minute and i gotta put the vent on there and then i gotta wire this puppy up so i got the thermostat wires and the um the power wires right here so i gotta take the cover off of this and uh wire this bad boy up all right so we're in pretty good shape here i got the vent here back on um all the wiring's done i did all the thermostat wires here they're all going through the proper connections none of that through the side bull crap um yep so we got power here 240 volts going in power thermostat the vents hooked up Got the disconnect switch here. We are gonna throw this back. Actually, I gotta put the cover on first, throw the disconnect back in. Then the last step, I just gotta hook up the drain pan. Um, pretty easy, get back to you after that. All right, so we're in great shape here. So I got the door back on here. I finished uh, connecting up the drain, um, the drain system. So I told you, I'd tell you more about this. So these specific fried rich models here, have their own proprietary drain pan and unfortunately they're sold separately and it even shows a little diagram of it right here this is called the vp dp do i mean <laughs> this is called the vp dp2 fried rich drain pan and what this does is it sits as you can see right in the sleeve here um it sits right in the corner right there and it's supposed to um there's two options you can either connect up a hose right into it and boom, put it to a drain like this, or you can just let the, you can cap the, cap the holes and let the water fill up. And then it channels the water right outside of the sleeve, right, right to the outside of the building. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any of these on hand right now. I'm going to try and pick up a couple next week. So I hate doing this, but unfortunately I did have to rig up a little drain pan myself just with a little uh, plastic recycle bin I cut out and um, you know, I uh, sealed up a tube um, into there. You know, do I like doing stuff like this? No, um, but the thing is these, these units here, they have no connection for a drain pan. The only where the water goes is it drips down and it drips out of multiple ports so i can't even just put a tube in there so you, you just you need a drip pan with these and so i'm gonna get the proprietary pans um they're about you know almost 100 bucks a piece um anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks a piece so i'm gonna pick some up next week because i have eight more of these units but other than that this 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 will work fine i've done this before it works totally fine but yeah so everything's wired up i got the door on here the last thing for me to do here is to just flip on the breaker um, and then we'll come over this thermostat and adjust it and then we'll make sure everything's working. So, boom. All right, the unit is now on. I have not turned this unit on at all yet to test it, but pretty confident in my work. So let's get this back on here. Boom. Okay, so the unit um, is on now. Yep, I see the thermostat booting up. This is the older style thermostat. Some of the rooms, uh, I install some of the newer um, wireless fried rich ones. They actually work really nice. And uh, yeah, so it looks like um, looks like we're booted up here. 
Um, it says the current 66, that's not true. It takes a couple minutes for this thing to adjust. Um, we're gonna put this down to 68. I'm gonna turn it on fan, so that way we'll hear if the unit kicks on. And it should, oh yeah, fan, and we're gonna put this to auto. And yeah, that shouldn't be, because it, it thinks it's 66 in here right now. It's gonna take a second for this thing to come up to temperature. So we'll put it down to uh, 62 just for, it's very cold, but just for testing purposes, this should rise up. It's probably like 75 in here. But okay, so yep, the snowflake is flashing. The compressor should kick on. I hear the fan on and there we go. Ready to click. Oh yeah, blowing air, blowing cold air now, yep. Compressors kicking on. So yeah, this thing is uh, pretty nice, nice and clean install other than the drain pan. I'm gonna get those next week, like I said, but that's pretty much it. Um,